We've all met misanthropes that have a very low opinion of the human race. I don't know if you want to call them misanthropes, but just, you know, people that say humanity is crap or whatever, people are garbage, people are horrible or whatever. And yet they're still in a constant state of moral outrage at how horrible people are and people shouldn't be horrible. This makes no sense. If I sincerely believe that some somebody has a certain fundamental nature, I cannot, on the other hand, be upset over the fact that they act in a certain way that is in accord with the nature that, in a sense, I've given them, or I've placed them in this category. It's not so much that um, that their conduct is really the issue here, if you ask me. It's the fact that I'm placing people in that category. Um, when I'm constantly uh, barraged by insults uh, by a certain YouTuber, and I'm not the only one, so I'm not, <laughs> not uh, crying persecution here by all by any means. But when I'm bombarded by insults, I assume again, as I've said, that that's sincerely meant that this person believes that this is my nature. And yet, since I'm being placed in that category by that insult, why is it somehow a surprise or why is this, why is there a judgment placed on that that condemns me for being this way as well? See, it's one thing to say that someone is deficient, but it's quite another matter to condemn them for it. It's like, you know, one of the little things that a lot of kids who are brought up in the religious tradition, the Christian tradition, uh, start thinking about. Okay, God, you gave us a sinful nature, and then you judge us now for acting on that sinful nature? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. And there really is no solution for that, and the only solution for that is, shut up, or you're going to hell. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> it's a fascinating conundrum. If you have a low opinion of something, or someone, or some species, say the human race, why would you condemn the entity, the race, the person, the thing, for being that way? It doesn't make any sense, and it's that crazy guilt paradox that I referred to. You are bad, and I'm also condemning you for being bad. That makes no sense. I have a nature. You have already determined that my nature is somehow less than what it should be. Okay. You have insulted me, but I would assume that that insult is sincere. Therefore, if you call me, as I said before, a fucking asshole, you believe I am a fucking asshole, and fucking assholes have certain fundamental characteristics. Otherwise, we wouldn't call them that, or we wouldn't think that they are that. So, how can I then be condemned for being what I am? The very fact that I am, presumably, a fucking asshole should give me some sort of claim on acting like a fucking asshole without being condemned for it. Um, I don't really see any way out of that. Again, it's the same thing. You've got a sinful nature, humanity, but I'm going to condemn you for it, for having a sinful nature that I've given you. No, it doesn't make sense. But this, in a certain type of guilt, is uh, central to the sort of merry-go-round that just never seems to stop. The thinking is, I'm bad, I'm a bad person, I'm a fundamentally uh, rotten person, and it's my fault that I'm a rotten person. <laughs> uh, that makes no sense whatsoever, and that goes for the infliction of guilt as well. Um, because, again, we're, I, I talk a lot about the experience of feeling guilty, but guilt is a two-way street. Guilt also means me sort of being actively guiltish. In other words, I am making someone feel guilty. I am projecting a sense of guilt onto someone else. 
Um, and that has many different facets. Uh, you know, somebody I trust makes me feel like I'm a fundamentally bad person. Say, you know, my mother or you know my priest or uh, a friend or my wife or whatever tells me, um, makes me feel like I'm a fundamentally bad person. So I sort of give this some credence because th I love this person, I trust this person, this person is important to me. They're making me feel bad about myself. It must be my fault. In a sense, if that is done passively and even, I suppose, subconsciously, the end result is the same. This person has made me feel like I'm a bad person, and this person is disappointed in me because I'm a bad person. But if I'm a bad person, how can I disappoint anyone? Because it's in my nature to be bad. Um, it's like, you know, the, the, the reading, the modern reading of The Merchant of Venice, Shylock, the stereotypical uh, scheming, greedy, manipulative Jew, is ultimately um, a creation of his enemies. He, they've already assumed in advance that he is all of these things. And he realizes, uh, when he speaks the, uh, the um, telling line, I think it goes, you have called me dog, even though I have no, no you, even though you have no cause, but since I am a dog, beware my fangs. Um, he sort of says, I've got nothing to lose here. These people have decided that I'm something, and no matter what I do, I cannot convince them that I'm not something. Therefore, I may as well be that which they have accused me of. The, the, uh, the paradox is inescapable. And especially if, say, they actually believe that I'm all these things. If, if I have a fundamentally bad or despicable or flawed or foul nature, it is irrational, illogical, inconsistent, and I would even say insane to then condemn me for it. You can't condemn something for being what it fundamentally is is. Well, I suppose you can, but you've essentially made condemnation and judgment a completely vacuous concept in so doing. 